so I, I want to, you know, introduce the humanities in, in any way I can in, in the work I do with my medical students and, and residents. And one of the reasons I think it's, it's so important for us to think about uh, the arts and humanities is because they are entrees into empathy. They help us to see the world through the lens of uh, other people. And I wanted to read next an, another poem that uh, I hope enacts empathy in a way that, that shows uh, how it can uh, impact on, on work with patients in, in a clinical setting. And uh, this is a poem called Iatrogenic. It's uh, for medical people in the audience, you'll know what that, that term means. It's, uh, it's a condition that's caused by the medical treatment itself that we offer. You say, I do this to myself. Outside, my other patients wait. Maybe snow falls. We're all just waiting for our deaths to come. We're all just hoping it won't hurt too much. You say, it makes it seem less lonely here. I study them as if the deep red cuts were only wounds, as if they didn't hurt so much. The way you hold your upturned arms the cuts seem aimed at your unshaven face. Outside, my other patients wait their turns. I run gloved fingertips along their course as if I could touch pain itself, as if by touching pain, I might alleviate my own despair. You say, it's snowing, Doc. The snow, instead of howling, soundlessly comes down. I think you think it's beautiful. I say, this isn't all about the snow, is it? The way you hold your upturned arms, I think about embracing you, but don't. I think we do this to ourselves. I think the falling snow explains itself to us, blinding, faceless, and so deeply wounding.